Hello, this is Miss Katie reading uh, to my church friends um, at Midway. Today we're going to read the Easter story. So we read a couple of these. So we're going to see how this one might be a little different or the same. <clears throat> While Jesus was on earth, he healed the sick and taught people about God. So everywhere he went, men and women and boys and girls wanted to meet him. One day, he had to go to Jerusalem to celebrate the, fir the, fi the <clears throat> fast day. As he rode into town on a donkey, the crowd ran out to meet him. Some shouted, Bless the king! and put their coats down on the path. Others waved palm branches and sang songs. The leaders were jealous. They did not like Jesus. They Look how the people followed this man, they whispered. We must find a way to get rid of him. See if you can spot the palm branches. We shared those. Read your story. That night, Jesus ate the Passover feast with his friends. He knew it would be the last meal they would eat together. He didn't want them to forget him. So when the food was passed around, he turned to them and said, When you eat bread and drink wine like this, remember me. Jesus knew the jealous leaders would take him away soon. He also knew someone sitting in the room would turn on him. Who is this, Lord? asked John. Jesus answered, The one I give the bread to, as he passed the loaf to Judas. Judas whispered and excused himself. After dinner, Jesus and some friends went to the garden. Jesus knew he would suffer and die, so he was very sad. I am going to pray now, Jesus said. Please keep watch, as his, uh, his friend said, Yes, Lord, but they fell asleep. Jesus knelt and closed his eyes. Father, you can take away this cup of suffering that, I, I, that is soon to come, he said softly, but I will do whatever you want. Then Jesus got up and went back to his friends. How do you think Jesus felt about his friends falling asleep? Suddenly, a group of soldiers marched up to Jesus. Judas was with them. He ran over to Jesus and greeted him with a kiss. This was a signal for the soldiers to arrest Jesus. And when they did, his friends left and ran away. Jesus was brought before the leader. Some people told lies about him, but they had no proof. So the leaders could not charge him with any, with any wrong. They asked, You say you are the Son of God. Is that true? Jesus answered, I am. This made the leaders angry. This man is guilty of terrible offense. He said he is the Son of God when he is not, they shouted. For this he must be punished. So they turned Jesus over to the pirate, pilot, <clears throat> a Roman governor, and he he he, and it was decided Jesus must die on the cross. But first, he had to carry a long, long way to a place called Calvary. The cross was very heavy, and Jesus fell three times. His friends could not do anything but look and cry. Jesus died soon after. His friends took his body and buried it in the new tomb. Then they rolled a big stone in front, but the leaders were still afraid. They remembered that Jesus said he would rise again on the, uh, in three days, so they gave the order for the soldiers to guard the tomb day and night. A few days later, some friends went to Jesus' tomb. The big stone was rolled away. It's empty, they shouted when they looked in. Then they saw an angel. Jesus is not here, he said. 
he is alive again. So they ran to tell the others. After Jesus rose from the dead, he visited his friends who were happy to see him. Before he left for heaven, he told them to spread the good news of God's love to everyone. Because Jesus died and rose again, he earned us a place in heaven. That's why we celebrate Easter. Things to know about Easter. We celebrate Easter to remember what Jesus did for us and how much he loves us. Because Jesus gave his life for us and rose again, we can live again too. Easter comes on Sunday in spring. Spring is a season when grass grows, flowers bloom, and baby animals begin their new lives. When we believe in Jesus, we have new life too. I'm going to read you some questions you can think about from the story. Number one, what did Jesus ride when he came into Jerusalem? Answer that one is a donkey. Remember we talked about the donkey with the cross? We learned about it. The donkey is a special animal. It's in two of Jesus' stories at his birth and as, at his death. What did Jesus give to his friends at the Last Supper? So a hint for this one is something when uh, we do at communion. What do we get? We get a piece of bread that represents Jesus' body. And we get a little cup of juice or wine that represents his blood. What? <clears throat> Who turned Jesus over to the mean leaders? 